Now, 21 years in football, 17 years playing for France's national team. It's been a real privilege to have had such an experience. It was with those words that my next guest announced that she was bowing out of the sport at the age of 33 last month. Uh, as international teams warm up in Russia ahead of this year's World Cup, our perspective guest today is Laura Georges, who's just finished a six-month stint at uh, Bayern Munich after playing for both Paris Saint-Germain and Olympique Lyonnais. Thank you for being with us here on France 24. Thank you. Um, you've just decided to retire. What made you reach that decision? Um, I wanted to live something different. I wanted to experience something new. So I've been playing a lot of competition through World Cups. I mean, I didn't win it, but um, I've been traveling a lot. I, I had a good time with the national team. We are organizing the World Cup next season. I know it's, it's kind of weird for some people. But for me, it's time to, to live and to, to live something new for me. OK, let's go back to the, to the very beginning and to your early days. What made you first decide to kick a ball and where did that interest in football come from? So I was raised in the park of, of Versailles, in the, in the park of the Chateau de Versailles. So for me, it was just normal to play football because I have like plenty of grass and all my friends were playing. My dad was playing football. So one day, I, one of the, um, the classmates of my brother told me, oh, I think like, you could play for us for Paris Saint-Germain. And one year later, I was 12, I started to play for Paris Saint-Germain because Saint-Germain-en-Laye was close to Versailles. So I said, okay, let's start. And then I had opportunities who lead me to be uh, an intern in Clairefontaine for five years. Then I went to Western College. Then I played for Lyon, Paris Saint-Germain, and, and I finished in Bayern. Do you think that um, enough women are either playing or are interested in football? Uh, I won't say there's enough. I think we can still have more. And so we are working on it with the Federation. So a couple of years ago, I would say maybe 10 years ago, we were around like 50,000. Now we are around 160,000. So it's pretty good. So we have many players. Now we try to have more women involved as a referee. So we are like, we have this special department for women. Uh, so we want to develop woman being like in high position in the federation to be uh to have like really good position so we are working on not only having like more players but to have more women involved in football because obviously sadly in popular culture we tend to think of football as being very much a man's sport played by men run by men uh, watched by men is that a, a vision that you think is still true or might change in the next next few years i think it's it's, uh, it's moving to the the fact that we have more and more women involved in football having like really good position and uh, the french federation wanted to to show to the i would say to the to sports in general that we can have women with competence uh we can lead the, I mean, we can lead the federation and we can have like a really good position. And the FIFA is showing us the way. We have like the general secretary who is a woman and the French federation, the, the vice president is a woman. I'm the secretary general, uh, so the- General secretary. General secretary. We also have like the general manager of the federation with a woman. So things are moving in a good way. Is there a difference, do you think, between the way that men play football and women play football? Uh, we play the same football, but the speed is different. But the technique is the same, but the speed is, is different. I ask that because men are often seen on the pitch maybe faking an injury, mm -hmm. and women don't tend to do that. They kind of get up and get on with it. It's also like the difference between the two games, and most of the people who are watching women's games are saying, I like, some people say, oh, I like women's football because you guys don't complain. And it's true. We don't spend the time on the field like rolling around and be like upset and screaming and everything. So for the moment, we are still safe to have players who still want to play. And even if we get injured, we don't want to, to be like, ah, we are dying. No, we are still safe with all this. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a game though that's been rocked in uh, recent months by several scandals. Mm. Um, you, of course, are now the Secretary General, as you were saying, of uh, France's Football uh, Federation. What are you trying now to do to try and get the, the image of the sport cleaned up? Um, I'm not working on cleaning up the, the image. But do you, think, do you think it's important to try and clean up the image of sport, uh, the image of football, sorry? Um, I think that we don't have to, to work on clean up, but to do the right things, to be like not playing the role of as politic, but just work for the people who are on the pitch, to work for the kids. 
the young kids who are like young uh, boys, young girls who have to work for this. And sometimes people with high position just think about themselves, forget about what we really want to see. Like we want to see people happy on the field, to work for the people who want to enjoy the field. Okay, very quickly, very quickly, one final question. Yeah. Um, the World Cup is getting underway in Russia. Are you supporting France? Yes, of course I'm supporting and how, France. And, and how far do you think they'll get in this tournament? I want, I want to see them uh, as all the far way. as, like, all the way to the final uh, to how, win it. How likely is that? Where, which teams will be the most difficult ones for France to, to, to face? Uh, if we face, Brazil is going to be hard. Brazil is experienced, good players, fast players, technical players, good opponents. Spain to I have to wait and see. Yes, let's Laura, wait and see. Laura Georges, thank you so much for coming in and being our perspective guest here on France 24. Thank you very much. Thanks.